I'm doing a movie review, and the movie I want to review is Batman Year One. Now, Batman Year One is a 2011 direct-to-DVD animated film, which is part of a series of animated features from DC. Now, this movie is based on the graphic novel Batman Year One by Frank Miller, and I already did a review on the graphic novel, so if you want, you can go check out that review. But, um, this movie, I want to... I will say that this movie is very, very faithful to the book that it's based on, but to be honest, that actually almost kind of hurts the movie because the movie is so true to the graphic novel that you might as well almost just read the graphic novel because, like, the movie just doesn't really seem to do enough to really make it stand on its own, yo, know, and... In my opinion, that kind of makes the movie kind of forgettable, to be honest, because the movie's so much like the comic that you might as well just read the comic. Like, um, most times I would say an adaptation being really faithful to the source material is a good thing, but... In the case of something like a comic book, since comic books are already such a visual medium, I don't know, it just seems like you might as well just read the comic. Now, um, it's not a bad movie by any means. The problem with the movie is it's just kind of forgettable, in my opinion, because of how slavishly faithful it is to the comic. Now, the plot of the movie is pretty much the same as the comic. It's about, it's really an origin story for both Batman man and Commissioner Gordon, more so Commissioner Gordon, and uh, in the movie, the voice of Commissioner Gordon is played by Brian Cranston, who, to be honest, I actually think Brian Cranston would be a very good live-action Jim Gordon. Um, I know some people say Cranston would be a good uh, Lex Luthor. I can kind of see him in that role, too, but the more that I think about it, I actually do think Cranston would be a very good live-action Jim Gordon if they ever reboot the Batman series, which they're technically doing with this uh, Man of Steel sequel. Um, you know, so, yeah, I actually think he would be a pretty good Jim Gordon myself. I think he kind of fits the part. Um, you know, but once again, like, uh, you know, it follows Jim Gordon, who goes, who moves to Gotham City with his pregnant wife, Barbara, and, uh, he joins the police force there, and this is, of course, before he becomes Commissioner Gordon, and he notices that there's a lot of corruption within the police force, and a lot of the movie deals with him trying to take on the corruption within the police force, and it also follows Bruce Wayne first becoming Batman, and him trying to take on the crime in Gotham City, um, you know, and I like the story, but once again, the story just comes from the graphic novel, and in my opinion, you might as well just read the graphic novel. Like, this movie literally is almost like a carbon copy of the graphic novel. So, in my opinion, you might as well just read the book and not even bother with the movie. At least that's my opinion. Some people might really like that, how it's really faithful to the comic. It's just, this movie, it kind of gets hurt from being so faithful to the comic, at least in my opinion. Um, yo, I will say, though, that the animation is good. It's definitely good animation, and the animation style in the movie is, uh is basically almost similar to uh, David Mesichelli's illustrations from the comic. Like, they almost make it look like the comic only moving like it so i do like the animation style it's definitely interesting and uh and a lot of the voice acting in the movie is pretty good in my opinion uh especially from brian cranston and i didn't really mind the guy who played the voice of batman in this i know a lot of people hated him but i didn't mind it myself uh but yeah, if you want, check out Batman Year One. I mean, I don't think it's great, but it is alright. Um, but to me, it's not one of the better uh, Batman animated movies. At least not in my opinion. Uh, once again, I think you would... I, I would personally would recommend just sticking to the comic that it's based on. But yeah, that's my review on Batman Year One, and bye.